Welcome back guys. I am Andrew or welcome to Android Gaming. I am Android. And if you could tell we are using a different setup today because today is the day that I've been telling you guys we um this is first it's going to end up being a two part video. Just let me tell you guys that now. Uh, I can only do 15 minute videos at the max. Um it won't let me upload anything higher than that. But anyways, in some of the previous uh, Pokemon videos and stuff like that, I told you guys I was using my Galaxy Core Prime, and I told you guys that I was having issues with the touchscreen, and I will show you guys how to fix that if you guys have a Galaxy Core Prime, and let's just say... Uh, my screen's turned off right now, but say you're touching it and it's not responding to anything, it won't power down, but your side buttons and your home button is working, but nothing else is working. I'm going to show you guys why that is now. So, first thing you want to do is take it out of your case if you have a case. Um, I am not, this is not the case for this phone, it's an old uh, phone case. Next thing you want to do is you want to pull your battery cover off and now you can see your battery your uh, micro SD card and your SIM card if you have a SIM card you want to pull your battery out well first you want to power down your phone uh, next thing you want to do is pull your SIM card and your SD card out like I am now and then you'll see there are eight screws you can see them here 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 and there's also one here here and here now you want to remove those eight screws yes I am missing a couple of screws uh, I've already fixed my phone I'm just showing you guys how I fixed it if you guys are having this issue like I am so before you do any of that you'll see a small little cover right here now you want to go ahead and pop that off. You might need like a, a small screwdriver or something, but that will pop out a. That'll show you here. There is a plug. Now you want to try to push that in. See if that will fix your problem because that is your touchscreen and display connector, one of them, anyways. If that's not working, then you want to go ahead and continue with this video. So next you want to pull off your eight screws. I'm going to do that off video. And we'll be back as soon as we get our screws out. Okay, so once you have your screws out, like we do here, next thing you want to do is you want to pull your fingernail right on the edge here of the silver part coming around your phone. All of this is the back frame of your phone but you want to put tension right up here As you see there's a little groove right there that is where your speaker is and if you're not careful that will come flying out with your phone and you don't want to damage your connector that's connecting it to your motherboard so you just want to do what I'm doing here as you can see you just want to be nice and gentle just kind of push it along mine is coming apart easier um, then yours might just because like I said I've had mine apart quite a few times now and you see I'm putting pressure here I'm not putting a lot of pressure because again I, you know I don't want to break the phone I just want to apply enough pressure and then you want to see there's a little plastic part right here try to pull it up but not break it because this section right here by the the battery port is uh, a clip as well and you can see you just want to pull it off and now you can see the inside of the phone with the motherboard the speaker up here and the camera alright and this was also the display plug that I was mentioning earlier you don't need any major tools to do this you just need your fingernails you do not want to touch anything with metal inside here or you'll end up breaking it so the first thing just barely pull off the speaker we want to be careful of the port like I was telling you I found it easy just apply a little pressure and just 
kind of shake it a little bit and you can see the speaker just falls right out next thing you want to do is do the display and visual connector you don't have to do the front camera because it's not really going to flop around much to damage anything and once you have your connector undone like you see we do there next thing you want to do is go ahead and just slightly and easily pull the motherboard off you don't want to damage anything because if you damage the motherboard your main phone is done so like you can see here just slightly pulls off just set that down and now you can see there's the inner frame of the phone the screen and the display is left so next the next thing you want to do is I saw some people use uh, oh, excuse me they'll use like a hot gun or something like that to heat up the glue on the inside but you don't want to damage anything with me and uh, my phone's about two three years old and making of this video I have dropped it in motor oil, I've dropped it in antifreeze, transmission fluid, gear lube, mud puddles. I mean this phone has definitely been through it. Between that and all the dropping, uh, the, my glue already started separating. That holds the back frame onto the screen and the display. So what I did is I just took a credit card and just slightly just pushed it along. But you want to be careful because right up here you see right here there is a little uh, wire that is your touch screen going to your display connector that's the wire we're trying to get to so in this process you want to make sure you don't damage anything uh, me I ended up bending my display over here and over here doing this so you want to be very careful I'm lucky that mine still works but my glue is kind of old right now so it just peels right apart like you can see so you want to be very easy at this part because you can see my touchscreen and display is trying to come apart right down here so that's when I'll move along to the back and try prying at the back sorry guys I'm trying to do all this on camera and make sure it's a good video for you guys so here's the back frame uh, your home button is supposed to be down here mine sometimes falls out you could just set it right back in there there's little grooves inside there it'll just sit right back in there or you could just put it back in the touch screen and you see my, my home button is here okay so this is the main display and touch screen of the Galaxy Core Prime. Now as you can tell right over here in this corner there is a connector and then back here there's like a small little uh, square kind of connector. Well that's supposed to be glued to the touch screen and every or the display and every now and then uh, with mine how much BNA it's got it'll just pop off right there. I don't know what kind of glue to use or anything like that to fix it, but I do know once I would touch it, everything would work the way it should. So, what I ended up using to fix this solution is I just took a small little square piece of paper, you see on the tip of my finger, about the same size as the square connector back here and I would just lay it right on top make sh and make sure it's the same exact size as you can see there same exact size and there's a little spot inside the inner frame for that if you can see right up here and it'll all sit right there and put just enough pressure to actually push that back down onto the display and my touch screen would work and Ever since then, I've been doing the Pokemon videos, how to get the GBA uh, emulator, the DS emulator, you know, all that stuff. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. i got to put my button back on. But once you do that, and I use like a small little credit card 
you know, like a paper credit card or, you know, like a business card or something like that. Or even a quarter of a cigarette pack would work. I'm sorry, I know my arms are probably all over right here. But, um, once you have that on, now you can go ahead and start putting everything back together. So as you can see, I put my home button back on. And now I can go ahead and put my bottom frame or my inner frame onto my uh, touch screen and display. And now I can actually start putting my phone back together. So either now would be the time you guys can either stop or you guys continue with me. Um, I'm trying to get this done before it turns out to be a two-part video because I'm actually doing a lot better on time than I thought. So now it's pretty much just doing the reverse steps like you can see now. I made sure that I had the piece of paper or card inside there touching it all down. And then you want to take your motherboard and you want to put your motherboard back on but you want to make sure all the connectors is facing up as well as the SIM card and SD port. And then there should be a little groove inside for the camera and you just put it in place and same with the front camera and then in the back here where the charger is there's three little ports you just slightly want to just press all over until it just slides into place you don't want to force anything or you'll end up breaking it now you want to take your speaker and put it in its port where its little spot Everything has its own little cutout groove, as you can see here. And then just reconnect your connectors for your speaker and also for your touchscreen and display. And remember, you want to make sure that you get it just right. You don't want to force anything. If it's not going together, that means it's obviously not in spot. You don't want to force anything. Like you can see here, got everything all connected. Now we can go ahead and put our outer frame back on to our phone. As you can see, we're doing here. You just want to line everything up and make sure everything is going to fit. It is going to need a little bit of pressure, but again, you don't want to break anything. So just kind of go a little, little all over the place. You'll hear some popping that it's just it sliding back into place and the phone. Alright, once everything fills all together, now you just want to put your screws back in. And then you want to put your SIM card, battery, and all that stuff back in. So let's go ahead and do our screws, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so once you're done putting your screws back in, and your SIM card, SD, and your battery, you can go ahead and put your cover back on. Slide it in a case if you have a case. If not, then just go ahead and start powering it up. See here, we're now powering up. Just going to give it a second to load. Sorry guys, had to be chasing me around the table. Now, as you can see, it loads up, and now our touchscreen is working. As you can see here, if I don't drop my phone first. Now our touchscreen is working. Not a problem. And there we go. So as you guys can see, our phone is now working. And like I showed you guys earlier, the button might fall off, but the button still works. Alright guys, I hope this helped you. I hope you guys found it helpful if you guys have a Galaxy Core Prime. And again, please hit the like and subscribe if you guys did like it. And I will catch you on the next episode.